Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I want to have a talk with the Arise News Network and Michael Otedola about Mega Entrepreneur Aliko Dangote and the other mega entrepreneurs of Nigeria, the Igbo people. For some time, I've been following the news from Nigeria about some issues that uh, Dangote has been having with the Nigerian authorities. Over, I do not want to get into the nitty gritty, but uh, a little introduction of this gentleman could be helpful to understanding the message I want to pass across to Tedola and to the Arise News Network in this conversation. Dan Gote has invested heavily in a lot of sectors of the Nigerian economy. He deserves our respect and the commendation. And uh, I think at Otedola, not that I think, but I'm aware that Otedola came to his defense and called on the Nigerian people and the Nigerian government to honor this gentleman that has added a lot of value to the Nigerian economy by investing heavily. This is a uh, commendable. What Otedola has done is commendable and what the Arise News, some of its uh, journalists like Ruben Abati, Rufa Yoseni, Oji Obe, and Ayo, they echo the views of Otedola and I want to say that what they've done is commendable. But then, I like the full story to always be told. There are millions of other dangotes that have operated in Nigeria that are still operating in Nigeria. They need to be recognized too. What dangote has done is what millions of Igbos have done from 1900 to the year 2024. That's Igbo that operates the patent medicine store in the rural parts of Kanu. He deserves as much commendation as Dangote definitely deserves. That young Igbo whose presence in a village in Nasarawa state ensures that when people in Nasarawa need vital goods, things without which modern life will be meaningless, they can find that Igbo youth also deserve to be commended and i just mentioned too but every nigerian knows that if you remove the services of these Igbo investors from all parts of nigeria the country will grind to a halt the lebanese the syrian who we are involved in this kind in this uh, retail businesses that you find the Igbos in, they would live in the government reserved areas of Nigeria. They would not charge the Nigerian peoples the low prices these Igbos charge them. That spare pass dealer, that building material dealer. I'm talking about the 
services Igbos have rendered to Nigerians, they deserve to be respected, honored as Dangote. The only difference between them and Dangote is that Dangote started better than they did. And well, let us not get let's not get go beyond this point so that we don't bring in controversial issues. Let us just say that Dangote has invested all over the country. Millions of Igbos have done the same. So the Arise News Network and the Tedola, you can relate to what I'm saying. These Igbos need recognition, commendation, honor, just as Dangote needs. They all do the same thing. Unfortunately, the Igbos don't know how to tell their stories. The Igbo in Lagos is an investor in Lagos. Nothing more, nothing less. The Igbo in Kanu is an investor in Kanu. Nothing more, nothing less. Nigerian states, Nigerian authorities are going to Europe, America and Asia to look for investors. So they give them all sorts of rebates, all sorts of advantages because they boarded planes to go and beg them to come and invest. But in the Igbo case, nobody begs them. So the Igbos themselves don't even know that they are investors. But if we honor them as we honor Dangote, their best will come out. They will do more. Thank you very much.